So tonight to bring us the word in exhortation and to stir us up for what is about to happen here tonight. Harvesters Lekki, can we please put our hands together as I make welcome Pastor Lyo Awojobi as he shares with us tonight. Come on, celebrate the man of God. Our head of small groups and community here. Thank you so much, sir. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, tonight we give you praise. We give you thanks. Our hearts and the minds are opened to be thought, to be instructed. Thank you for the power of your spirit that is already in this place. Thank you for the testimonies. Thank you for the chains broken already. Thank you for the barren that I've conceived. Thank you for multiple healings that you have done. Thank you, for transform thank you for transformation in destinies. Thank you for marriages that you are healing. Thank you for businesses that are turning around. We give you praise and we give you thanks. Have your way in this place and do what you alone can do. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. If you can, you can just put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Wine press has been amazing. Amen. If you agree, can I see your hand up? Hallelujah. You want to give God a shout of praise this evening? Praise God. I want to appreciate my dear Father and the Lord, Master Bolaji, for this wonderful opportunity to bring us God's word. And our wonderful mother in the Lord, Pastor Mommy Dovu. You want to put your hands together for her? Thank you, Ma. God bless you. And for all our awesome pastors, the quality of work that God is doing with us around the globe sits on the shoulders of men and women of God who consistently you know, put their quota to what God is doing here. And we really appreciate them. This evening, for just a couple of minutes, I'm going to be sharing with you what we have titled Responding to the Spirit. Somebody say, Responding to the Spirit. Responding to the Spirit. Hallelujah. Can we open our Bibles to Job? I'd like to read from chapter 33. Job 33, I want to read from verse 4. Job 33, I'm going to read from verse 4. The Bible says here, it says, this, it says, the Spirit of God has made me, and the breath of the Almighty gives me life. So this is the book of Job. This is one of his friends, you know, speaking. And here it affirms what transpired in the book of Genesis chapter 2. It says, the Spirit of God had made me. It says, it is, the, it is by the breath of the Almighty that I have been made alive. Now, how is this important? Tonight, we're talking about responding to the Spirit. Why is it important for you to respond to the Spirit? And particularly, to what Spirit? Someone say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Tonight is the grand finale. Praise God. God is going to pour out on us like never before. Why is it important that your spirit is ready to receive? Why is it important that you are able to respond to the spirit of God? Listen to me, this is it. In the book of Genesis, when God finished making Adam, right? When God put the clay together and man was there. How did God bring man to life? God put his breath inside him. The Bible says that the man became a living soul. Praise God. The spirit of God is the one who has made your life. Every single thing God does, he does by his word and by his spirit. Am I communicating? When, when, when the man of God comes and ministers, when those deaf ears become open, what do you think happened? The Spirit of God traveled through those ears and took away the, the, what was 
you know, what made the air blocked, he took it away. When someone who had a malfunctioning heart suddenly becomes healed, what do you think happened? The Spirit of God traveled through the crowd and gave that person a new heart. I don't know how you came here tonight. Did you come here with a damaged organ? The Holy Ghost has a spare part. I don't know what you've been waiting for. The Holy Ghost has that spare part. Somebody say amen. amen. You've been trusting God for a child. Tonight, the Holy Ghost will bring that child to you. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. So why, why is it important that you receive? God never does anything except by his word and by his spirit. And so you'll find that in Genesis chapter number 1, the Bible says, even before God spoke, the Bible says that the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the deep. Praise God. Praise God. Before God does anything, his spirit will over. Amen. And guess what? Tonight, by the grace and the power of God, when the man of God, Pastor Bolaji, comes here tonight, amen. 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 Something tremendous will happen. Hallelujah. 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 In the book of Amos, the Bible says that God does not do anything without first telling his prophets. And so when God wants to change people's lives, you know what he does? He sends a man. Tonight, we have, the, we have the greatest message of God as he has sent us his servant. You know, many years ago when I first met Pastor Balaji, what attracted me to a pastor was the ministry of the Spirit. Pastor came into an atmosphere like this, and he was going to minister. Pastor Minga was in that meeting. Amen. And you know, he asked the strangest question I'd ever heard any minister ask. He was teaching, and suddenly he said, The Spirit of God is in this place. He said, How many of you would like to see the manifestation of the glory of God? I had never heard anybody talk that way before. Now I said, I'd like to see that. I like to see what's going to happen here. And then he asked, are you ready? Now I was wondering what was going to happen. And then we shouted, yes, yes, yes. I, I mean, I wanted the adventure. Praise God. Yeah. And suddenly the pastor began to sing. We are standing on holy ground. And do you know what happened? From all of the sides of the window, suddenly a mighty wind rushed in. Every single person in that atmosphere went on the floor. There was a plastic stool by my side. I don't know what came on me. I took that stool. I beat that stool till it tore. Since that day, my life never changed again. Tonight, tonight, the power of God is going to hit you strong. And guess what? When that power comes, you must be ready to receive. Just as I round off tonight, let me tell you something. So how do you receive? I don't have so much time. I'll just share one principle. So how, how do you receive? How do you respond to the Spirit? Amen. Someone say expectation. Someone say expectation. You've got to be expectant. Tonight when you see the man of God come, hear me. That's not just Pastor, that's not just Pastor Balaji who was coming. That's the angel of God. Amen. So let me show you how you know. Tonight, we can, we can just test your level of expectation before Pastor Balaji comes in. So that just in case it's not the level it should be, you can do something about it. Are we ready? Yeah. Praise God. All right. So let's check how expectant we are tonight. I have a couple of pounds here. Amen. Amen. Does anybody like this? Yeah. All right. And this is what we're going to do. I'd like to see how expectant you are. Amen. Amen. This is 50 pounds. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm going to throw this in the crowd. Are we together? So I could throw it anywhere. I don't have some more time, so let's do this together. I could throw it anywhere. I could throw it this way. I could throw it that way. I could throw it this way. I could throw it that way. And this is it. So I'm going to bring it out of my pocket, right? And once I throw it, once I throw it, the first person to, I mean, whoever catches any of them, it belongs to the person. 
Deal? Deal? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? One, two, three, go! Praise God. Put your hands together for Jesus. Why did you jump out? You were expectant. Why did you jump out? You were expectant. Tonight when the man of God starts ministering. If you jump out that way. Then you can receive. If your excitement and expectation. At the word of the Lord. I, I was only going to give you 50 pounds. And you were that excited. You were that expectant. How much more when the Spirit of God, who gave us breath, who has everything we could ever desire, how much more when He stands before you tonight by His servant? Lift up your voice and just pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Somebody tell God that you're ready tonight. Let God see your expectation. Let God see the passion in your heart to receive. Did you come here sick? Somebody lift your voice up tonight because this is that night that you've been waiting for. Kaban Shatalobahate. It's not tomorrow. It's this night. Someone lift your voice up. It's not tomorrow. It's this night. This night is my night. This night is my night. I'm responding to the Spirit of God. I'm responding tonight. My heart is full of expectation. And my expectation will not be cut short. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you praise and thanks. Father, have your way in our lives tonight. And do what only you can do. In the name of Jesus we pray.